Today is Thursday, May the 3rd, 2012. I'm going to make a short video here on how to check SCRs, silicon control rectifiers. I did see one out there on uh, YouTube, but uh, it was in a different language other than English, and uh, I think I can explain it possibly a little better. Okay, what I've got set up here is something very simple. We're going to use a meter, an old triplet meter here, too. We we'll use a triplet meter, but I'm going to show you a, a setup that I've got that I made. That is, and, and I think I'm making the setup to test it. I'll show you how dirt simple it is. I just got a one and a half volt battery hooked in series with a 150 milliamp meter and uh, a 10 ohm resistor, something to limit the current so we don't short circuit our battery and our two test leads. This is plus, plus and minus. Red's plus. Okay. Uh, first of all, here's an SCR and if you look at it closely, hopefully you'll be able to see right uh, there, yeah. But there it is, it focused. It's pulling toward the cathode. The larger wire is going to be the cathode. The little one's going to be the gate. So you got a cathode, an anode, and a gate. Now, just like any other diode, it, a, a SCR conducts when the when the anode is positive. Okay, so we're going to hook the uh, the plus side, the negative side right here. The white one's the negative. We're going to hook it to the anode. And then we're just going to take the plus lead and hold it. I'm sorry, we're going to hook the negative side right here to the cathode. This is the cathode. This is the anode. And this is the gate. So, plus to anode, negative to cathode. That's the only way the uh, diode will conduct. Okay, now that we've got it hooked up, and I'm saying it straight, we got the positive lead from the battery. That's actually through the meter, but it's the positive lead from the battery. And then all we have to do is make the gate go positive. All we have to do is touch it to the anode. And see the meter turn on and stay on? It's good. Take it off, put it back on, test it again. So once we trigger it, once we trigger the gate of the SCR to the anode and it stays on, it's good. So there we have a good SCR. And there goes my telephone. Let's do it again with a different one. Here is the anode, cathode, to the cathode, hold it to the anode. You can make yourself a sophisticated setup if you want to, but I'm just showing you the principles of it. And then short it to the anode again. There it goes, see? The meter turned on and stayed on. Remove the current, the SCR shuts off. Trigger it again to the anode, it stays on. So we've got another good SCR. Okay. Here's a small one. I happen to know that the one over here where the tab is, you can see that little tiny tab over there, my finger I'm tapping. That's the uh, cathode. Here's the anode. And then we just take the uh, gate again, short it to the anode, and it turns on. Meter turns on and stays on. Current continues to flow. Touch it once more. There we go. So we got three good ones. Okay. Here we go again. Let's see. Here's the cathode over here. I can't see there very well. Darn it. What happens when you get old? And then you uh, hook the anode up here and look. That one's on all the time. That SCR shorted. You can touch it if you want to over there, but that SCR shorted and it's bad. Okay. Now here come some interesting ones. Here's some big guys. Big SCRs. This happens to be the cathode. This happens to be the anode. And then when we short it, it turns on and stays on. Very good. That's a big guy too. Okay. So all the we're doing pretty good. We got a lot of good ones. Here's another big one. This one's going to be a little more interesting and you'll see why. Cathode, anode, gate, shuts off. See, it turns on, goes off. Turns on and goes off. So is it good or bad? Hmm, don't really know, do you? Well, the truth is, and we're gonna, I'm going to show you a, an alternative way to check this SCR, is that there's just not enough holding current flowing through the SCR to hold it on. However, if we discard this, put this aside for the moment, and this couple of power supply leads here. This is going off to a large power supply. 
We're not going to use any of this anymore. We're just going to use a diode and a, and a bulb. The bulb is going to be both our current limiter and our indicator. So we're going to hook it back up. We're going to hook up <clears throat> the negative to the cathode. And then I'm just going to hold the bulb right here and touch it to the anode. And then I'm going to stick the gate to the anode. Uh-huh. See there? See it turn on and stay on? This is actually good. There just wasn't enough holding current in the... Uh, so see, there we go. There's our, our negative lead to the cathode. Here's our plus lead going through our bulb to the anode again. And we're not using the meter. And then we trigger it to the anode. And there we go. Works. That's actually a good SCR. But this little setup we had here was not enough holding current to trigger it to keep it on. So you have to build yourself some things sometimes. Now as a last one here. And I'm hoping that by not being too formal you can actually understand how to make your own. I've got the uh, the old uh, triplet on uh, R times one. I'll get uh, one of the small SCRs again. Negative lead to the cathode. Positive lead to the anode. And short it. See how the meter turns on and stays on? So you can use a meter too. Now, if you've got digital meters, you may have a different problem. <clears throat> you can probably put it in its diode mode and it may work. And it may not. Negative to cathode. Positive to anode. Short to gate to the anode. Should, should turn on and stay on. There you go. That one's on. Uh, it certainly will not work. This meter will not work to check these guys. It may work. Let's see if it'll work on this one. I can't remember. Cathode. Anode. Short to gate. Yep. See, it actually works on that one, too. So there you go. That's how you check SCRs. It's pretty simple. Hope this helps.